Hi, beautiful. Today is gonna be a satisfying hair day for me. This whole video today is going to be videos from a channel called Love518. The stylist's name is Hadassah and she is incredibly talented and takes the time to detangle people's hair in the most extreme matted cases imaginable. And I wanna say before I start watching these videos, please don't leave any hate about these people's hair. We do not know what these people are going through or have been through, but wait a second. If you want the opportunity to win $10,000 and a year supply of Xmondo color, we'll watch this next clip on how to enter. Xmondo is looking for the most talented and most creative people who love hair color. We wanna see the most exciting, extra creative color look you can create. This color look can be something you've already done or it can be something special just for this competition. It can be done on yourself or on a model as well. All you have to do to enter is post your most creative color look on Instagram, hashtag Xmondo color awards and tag us at Xmondo color to enter. Once you do that, make sure to make your submission official by going to xmodohair.com slash color awards. And to get your creativity flowing, I created a few of my own looks. I made my looks bold, creative, extravagant, extra, and that's everything that I wanna see from you as well. Once we see all the submissions come through, later the top five will be chosen to move on to the final round, and one of you will win $10,000 and a year supply of Xmondo color. By the way, you do not have to be a hairstylist to enter, everyone can can enter. I don't care who you are, what you do for a living. I want to see it all. So good luck and I cannot wait to see what you create. Dope. All right, well, good luck and let's get into watching some people get their very matted and tangly hair to tangle. An active addiction that sent us an act like full blown active addiction. When I got out of bed, it got worse and we have a son and my focus was on him and him only and I just like let myself kind of stay into the dark. But then we both got into a program got clean. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, is this video gonna make me cry today? I'm not like, ugh. I'm so happy for her though. She got clean. She sharing her story and now she is ready to fix her hair and get that luscious hair back. That's a big nod. How is she going to approach this? I don't even know where I would start. I guess I would just like put some conditioner on, start combing little sections at a time. Is that the approach? Just a small little taste of what she's been going through. Everyone is going through something. I am so proud of her for just making the step of not only changing her life, but coming in to seek help, be free of this big ball of hair that you see back there. So this is the end of day one and you see what we got accomplished so far. Wow, hair is so wild. Like the fact that can even happen, I, it's so interesting how hair can just get all tangled in itself and create a ball like that. Am I the only one who thinks that's like insane? <laughs> I was the only person in the world this happened. I'm the only person that, you know, this is going on to, but there's probably no one out there that can help me with this. But I was refused to give up finding someone. YouTube is so big in our house with between my son and my husband. I was like, let me just type into YouTube how to tangle matted hair and you, your video came up. Hey. Wow, I'm so glad that this woman is here to help these people with matted hair. Um, also, the technique. So I guess what you do is it looks like her hair is wet and conditioned. She's taking the back of the tail comb and just getting rid of a few knots at a time and going through the entire thing. This takes so much patience. Props to you for putting the time and energy into this. I've already lived this pain for three years almost, I am done. People all the time are like, oh, the, you must not brushed your hair. Like, I can attest, I, I brushed my hair every day even when it was like this, to make sure that the hair that was not tangled was not gonna get in there too. And I remember feeling that like when I was brushing my hair, it wasn't, you know, the knots were not coming out. Cause like I said, my hair never really tangled. If it did, you know, when I was brushing it, like after the shower or something like that, it always, if came there out. was a problem there, you know, you just brush a few times and it would come out. But then I felt back and I felt like a round bump. And I was like, oh, there's something in my hair. I thought it was gum to be honest. Imagine how much hair has just like accumulated in that knot over the months or years, or I don't know how long it's been since she's been able to brush through this. But imagine all like the hair that naturally gets lost. All of that hair is kind of just staying inside the other hair and then it creates more knots and then it gets matted and then more hair falls from the scalp because of it naturally falling out. And then it just creates a bigger and bigger clump of hair. And that's, I think, how this kind of happens. Um, obviously, it's a lack of brushing hair and it's it's a lot of laying down, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's from being in bed a lot or having your hair kind of rubbing against the surface a lot can also create a lot of matting. So I spent, kid you not, probably three or four hours. I 
looked online on how to detangle huge tangle in a hair like that was like more than just a few brushes type of tangle. Yeah. I don't know for some reason it told me to use apple cider vinegar so I went bought some sprayed it on spent three to four hours trying to do exactly what you're doing. I wonder why it's an apple cider vinegar would help you <laughs> to tangle hair it seems random vinegar tangles I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> My arm burned, hurt. I wanted to, to cry and die, but it literally was almost gone. I rinsed it in the shower, you know, because I shampooed and stuff to get the apple cider stuff off. Uh, I went to bed, and then the next day, it was still there, and I tried to get it out, and it just wasn't budging, but I was like, it's small enough, you know, I'll just get it out the next day. That next day turned into almost three years. Whoa. Okay, so it's been three years, and she did, she tried to get it out, it was too late, it was too much hair already bunched in there, but it's been three years since she's really brushed through all of her hair. This is gonna feel so satisfying to her at the end when she can run her hand through her hair and feel no knots like the satisfaction is gonna be incredible it's not easy like it's easy for people to throw rocks and throw stones but man like i tell people your life and your situation manifested through this part of your hair there's other people that their stuff is manifesting through overeating or under eating drinking out here in these streets just doing whatever you know gambling or depression or being stuck in the house like their things show up other ways yours just show up this way i love this hairstylist she's so like supportive and caring and trying to help this woman and also helping me understand how these types of things happen um, and she's right her kind of struggles in life were just manifested to her hair and to this kind of ball of hair that has to be detangled and other people take it out in other ways I like fully understand how this could happen to somebody and I feel for her. I had put so much into my recovery and this was a big part of like that life and I would be I'm gonna be damned if like my addiction that I fought so hard to get over everything that's just gonna take something else from me. Some people don't realize that just because you cut that off it doesn't mean you have you I didn't deal with it, you know? Yeah. Like I faced it head on. And guess what? If I'm doing it this way, I get to keep something that I wanted to keep. Yeah. Not because I had to get rid of it. Exactly. And hair means so much to people. I understand why she would want to keep it and she wouldn't want to shave her head. You know, I can totally feel what you're saying. I'm so happy that she's gonna be able to have her hair back. I wanna see this get detangled for her so badly. Wow, look at her working through that hair and she's finally getting that brush through. So satisfying. So I finally figured out how her hair worked. Three days later, so I found a trick to her hair. This is what's left to do. Now I'm gonna blow your mind. Look what is attached to guys. Literally attached to this much hair. So all this is just a hair ball of old matted hair. Over a hundred thousand strands of hair that's in that bag and that's attached to her head. She has no ball spots here. What? It's amazing breakthrough but at the same time I'd be like why? Why didn't I find this earlier? She's probably so like what the hell? That big clump of hair was just held on by two hair strands. It just got rid of it, but oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm so glad she finally found it. Ready? Set. <laughs> jump in, jump in, love. Yes. Look at this. All this hair that was trapped in there. Yes, yes. And wow, that's a lot of hair. We are done. So I'm gonna do some keratin. Her hair texture is a whole nother texture now. You are free. I'm so happy I was able to set you free, girl. Look at this. This is why I do it. Yes, and we love you for it. Thank you so much for being there for these people and helping them. But wait, we have to see the final look. Oh, her hair looks so beautiful and shiny and healthy. Yes. 
Yes, sick job. You're both amazing. Today we're doing a client whose hair has been matted for over 17 months, y'all. It was challenging. Maybe the most challenging one so far. I don't even know where I would start. I don't even know what I would do. If that is not the most challenging matted hair she's ever done, then I don't know what is because I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do, but I'm excited to learn. This is interesting. So this is kind of like a different technique, it feels like. I don't know what's going on really, but they are putting water on her scalp while detangling. It might be cold water to like ice her scalp, I'm guessing, but I think it's cold water. I'm sure that they've been pulling on her head the entire day and it probably is really painful. That's something that you you also have to take into account here. You're pulling on these clients' scalps all day. Like this is a lot of work and a lot of patients go into this. And I'm sure a lot of breaks have to happen in the middle. The client here, we had her sketch for three days, but because her hair was so challenging and she is so tender headed that we had to do an extra day. Now we're at the shampoo bowl because no matter what we did to her hair, every little thing hurt. So I came up with the idea of letting the water run through her scalp to kind of distract her brain while I detangle her hair at the same time. Oh my God, I forgot about the fact that people are tender headed and like some people can't handle any pulling on their hair. That brings a whole nother level of complexity to the situation. They are using the water to kind of distract her. She has already gotten so far through this hair. I am so impressed. But when I say it was challenging y'all, it was challenging. I really didn't think we'll be able to do it, but I kept pushing through and I really want to set her free. So we were determined and we got it done. We did it. We we did it. We did it. Let's go ahead and keep it 100. I didn't think um, we'll be able to do it because my client was extremely tender headed. She has to be by far the most tender headed client we had. How is her hair that long? Oh my God. And so healthy. Look at her ends. Barely anything needs to be cut. Like I want you to look at that. Look at those ends. Get into it. It took us the last day like almost 14 hours to do her hair. We had to do one at a time because having two people on her head was excruciating pain for her. Not only was she extremely tender headed, but her ends were colored. And for some reason, her ends kept getting matted over and over again. So no matter if I detangled it, it would do it all over again. Oh my God, 14 hours hours this is making me realize one thing and is that i need to be a more patient hairstylist because the moment somebody tells me they're tender headed i'm like <laughs> girl Suck it up for two seconds. <laughs> I need to be more understanding, clearly, because I can't pull something like this off. Her hair is literally looks like silk. Are you seeing this? Oh my God. Y'all, we did it. I'm so proud of my team. Shout out to Marlene um, for staying late with me. And a shout out to my client for being so patient. I don't understand how the hair went from that to that. It, that's mind boggling. That is insane. That is whoa, how, 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 how. The talent is unbelievable. So my client here, hair is completely matted. As you can see, her hair is completely stuck together. Right now I'm doing a hair detox. Um, I saw the recipe somewhere on YouTube. Just Google hair detox and you'll find it. It's apple cider vinegar, baking soda, salt, and lemon juice. Also, oh, apparently apple cider vinegar does do something for getting tangles out. And I did four of these and she soaked her hair in it for like 20 minutes each time. And each time, I promise you no lie, the water looked like this. Not only is it removed the residue, the oil, dirt, pollution, sweat, but also it helps remove the smell as well because remember it's a year of not washing her hair and she hasn't combed her hair in one year. I didn't even think about that. Obviously it's not going to smell the greatest and you know, you wanted to get it clean before you then go in there and try to tangle everything. So she's trying to extremely clarify the hair before she begins to actually detangle it, which makes a lot of sense. So right now I'm using my product. <laughs> Shout out to me. And I'm trying to wash the outer perimeter of it, even though it's not gonna get in the inside, but you still wanna work with a kind of clean surface. So I did that. We're just rinsing all that stuff off. These are other products I use. I want to see which one would work best for her hair type. So she obviously uses a bunch of conditioning sprays of all kinds, uh, and that's the technique. Clarifies it, she washes it, she uses detangling conditioning sprays and she goes in there with her tail comb. She works her way through. So now I'm just trying to see how I'm gonna tackle this because not only is her hair completely 
matted together but the back portion is matted together and the top portion is matted together separately and then the outside of it like the perimeter of it because I guess it's being a rub against the pillow hair scarf it's like tight wool so it was extremely hard to break that barrier I can't imagine also with coily hair like this it must just make the detangling process that much harder because I don't know I just feel like it was <laughs> am I wrong for thinking that um, when I finally get into the hair all that oil and dirt's in there so we're just combing through whenever she has those residue I just go back to the sink with her and I detangle and wash it so we can get that build up because that residue acts like a strong cement it's hard to work through it so I'll go to the shampoo bowl I'll wash it out I would never know any of this this is incredible to watch um, and she is making her progress through this hair so I just start detangling at the shampoo bowl as well to break it up put some conditioner see if that works because I wouldn't know what what, what work for her hair until I try it um, this is the end of day one so I was able to get at least 25% of it done 25% of it done baby we're making progress I feel like I'm in this with you look how long her hair is I barely cut anything like I probably pulled out the scissors twice or the shears twice to cut little small knots but i'll try to save her hair as much as possible and this is what i have left to do but i was happy to get that accomplished probably took me nine hours in total to do nine hours and she's not even done i think that was day two as well oh my god all right now i'm just pushing her hair down because her hair is trained at this point to be matted so if you don't separate that and twist it down it's going to be matted again the next day use the rat tail comb as you can see different ones in different sizes to break up the matted hair when that part is detangled i use a detangling comb and also i use the wide tooth comb as you see me here once the hair is completely somewhat detangled god she's gonna have the most beautiful hair at the end of this like her hair looks healthy and it looks strong and it looks long <sighs> i love it so this is me combing through it because you know you can't use a rat tail comb for that part because it's it's too much so this is day two what i got completed i'm getting there and that part that section off that's hanging out is what i have left to do so this is day three guys all that white residue is, is all those products that she had in her hair she tried some things at home before she came to me to see if she can get it detangled but it wasn't working and you know i don't know if she rinsed it out or not but it just stayed in there we got rid of that if she didn't come to me she said she's gonna cut her hair off and she didn't want to cut her hair off you know you, you just don't want to yes ma'am i am finished mm -mm 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 -mm. You did it. You did it. You did it. Look how long her hair is, guys. Look at the pull. And look at her shrinkage. Her shrinkage is real. So I shampooed her hair five times. I did two clarifying, maybe three shampoos of clarifying shampoo and regular shampoo. This is me blow drying her hair. She shampooed her hair five times. That shit is sparkling brand new. I was very gentle when I did her blow dry because imagine three days of detangling. She needed a haircut. So we did a haircut. We did a deep condition treatment. We did the whole works for her hair. Not only we spent three days of detangling, but I spent three days of pouring life into her. Her. oh look at me running my fingers through her hair i can comb her hair now please take time you time take time to love yourself spend time self-care is, is truly important and to pour into your life find people that can pour into you this is all the hair look at all that hair it was a half a bag but look at her hair guys look at the shine look how she wanted her hair to be curled so i curled her hair for her so just a reminder just how she came in y'all see it you see it this reminder how she came in and how she left yes ma'am mm -hmm. oh my god Okay, wait, the amount of hair that come off her head. Holy shit. Secondly, that before and after, holy shit. Her luscious, beautiful hair at the end. Holy shit. The shine on her hair, holy shit. What? Hadassah, you killed it again. We all love you. That was so inspiring to watch and ah, satisfying and interesting and I learned so much. So thank you Hadassah for sharing these videos. If you guys would like to check out her social media pages, they are all linked below. And if you want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, go to xmodohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.